Okay. Go ahead, Atulia, your presentation. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Atulia. Um, I'm going to focus on the topic which is of real importance now, that is pollution and everything. Like, uh, we're, we're polluting the earth day by day, and it's getting worse. So, um, the earth is, like, inherited. It's not inherited from our forefathers. It's, like, loaned to us from our future children. So, as in any loan obligation, as in any transaction, is our obligation to return back the earth in a better shape. So I'm going to focus on uh, MTV Switch ads, which are focused on climate change and global warming. So I would like you to see two ads now. Um, you do make a big difference. Switch your habits. We saw this ad and uh, now that, let's see the camera used. So uh, in, the, in this ad, the camera shots are like switching from close up and long shots. So when, when we do this, like when the cameraman does it, it makes us focus on the subject and without the other things like the shelves and everything. So uh, and he also captures like when when the paper is thrown, the this also falls. So this makes this sim this symbolizes that the paper we use also reduces the amount of trees on earth. It keeps like we cut down trees for paper. So um, in the next one, the cameraman also uh, zooms in the polar bear, and there's also a picture at the back of it. So it helps us relate more to the Arctic region. And um, this symbolizes like the more energy we use, it increases global warming and causes the Arctic regions to melt. And then he zooms again on the snow globe. But usually the snow globe is of the white flakes, but here when the car started, the black things swell up. So uh, it implies that the pollution we, we create by using cars and other vehicles. And the camera angle is mostly at eye level, but even the dustbin is shown at eye level. Usually we see dustbins like at a high angle or in a bird's eye view, but here this too is shown at eye level. So it's like focus now, act now. That kind of thought, it creates that kind of thought. And then mm, the image, it's like a warm, cozy home, and the subjects used are the things which we find in normal homes, like the indoor plant, paper, the snow globe and everything. Um, the light is somewhat focused on the subject. Like, as you can see, it's focused on the leaf and it's dim ar around the side. So we focus only on the subject. And uh, this helps the audience to, like, focus on it and, like, get a clear view of what the... Uh, Ad is like trying to tell us. Um, um, the sound is somewhat peppy and it's like a fast beat. So uh, to me, it sounded like do something now, act fast, and something like that. But dialogues are not used here, and that's one thing. And the simile is used very much, like the plant is compared to a tree and then the snow globe to the earth and everything. So simile is used. Even there's a, uh, there's a juxtaposition, like the paper and the plant. So it's somewhat related, right? So there's juxtaposition too. And yeah, that's what I think about this ad. Connotation is figurative. We have to um, get meaning from this ad. It's not direct. So we have to understand the uh, concepts. 
I have the air on in here. It is Death Valley hot out there. It wasn't like this 50 years ago. It was not this hot. What did you do? Every time you knock, I'm gonna cut a tree down. That's three trees. This is what happened to the dinosaurs, man. You nag them and nag them until they all kill themselves. I don't want to live with you anymore. How do we get out of this? Uh, it's uh, again like long shot and sometimes close up. Again, it's an eye level as uh, the first ad. Um, and the image is, is again a home, but here, yeah, and one point. <laughs> The sun is shown at a high angle, so it implies that it's a very hot day and the sun is powerful too, you know, somewhat. And it, the camera focuses on the temperature and the air conditioner and everything. And so, like, it's a really, really hot day. And he has the air conditioner on so cold that uh, he has a blanket on himself, so it's increasing global warming. Um, yeah, yeah. It's again in home, but here the use of the pizza slices and everything, and uh, it's like he's a very irresponsible guy and creates a, some sort of bachelor feeling. And the light is bright, and so it's a warm day, as you can see. And um, so because like the light is not focused, you can uh, you can see everything, and it's like not focused on the subject. Like you can see here. You can see everything. So the light is not used perfectly, some sort of, I think. And the sound is natural and superimposed. When you hear the ad, you can always uh, hear the some sort of funny music going on in the background. And Brad also keeps shouting over Earth's knocks. So um, this we can relate this to the cause of the Earth, which we too are ignoring. We too are ignoring the global pollution and everything. We have to set right, set it right, and then, like at last, the Earth is tired of this and it dies. So, um, and he, Brad uses the words like "What do you do?" and "nagging," and all this sort of creates a feeling that the Earth is responsible for the hot day and everything. And he 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 does he does not do anything. That's some sort of that. And uh, if you want to make this ad more effective, you can show the, I mean both the ads. You can show the effects and not only the causes. Like when the paper falls, the tree, the leaves also fall. It, and when like the polar bear melts, you can. It's just the causes. You can also show the effects, like the sea level rising and everything so that the audience get a better image. And in that and Earth, the connotation is literal and figurative. It's figurative when the Earth knocks and it's it relates to the cause of the Earth on us. And it's literal when they show the temperature, the air conditioner, and the sun, and it's all related to a hot day. And uh, here the simile is also used. It, it relates a roommate problem to a global problem. And yeah, uh, when we compare both ads, uh, both ads use allegory. Um, they, they use a symbolic representation of things uh, other than direct um, representation. And um, yeah, that's it. All right. Can you explain it? You said at the end it uses allegory. What, what do you? Can you explain how that works? Um, you said it uses uh, symbols like and. In the first ad, uh, it used the sim like the snow globe and 
it somewhat symbolizes the earth. Yeah. So that's an allegory, and uh, the lamp. Hmm. It, it's the energy, and it symbolizes the global warming, so that the ice melts and right. Everything. So, do you think these ads are effective in um, making people change their behavior? Um, it's somewhat effective, but uh, it can be more effective, as I said, like showing the effects mm -hmm. and not only the causes. You can show both <coughs> so yeah. that the people get an idea of what's actually uh, causing, like, I mean, what's actually happening because mm -hmm. of these causes. Okay. Sounds good. Well, great presentation. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah.